Hello everybody, I want to show you with this video 10 cool things you can do with the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. Yeah, the first thing I want to show you is a basic one, but a nice to know one as well. Because if you're on a conference or in a cinema or with your friends and you forgot to put your phone on silence uh, and someone is calling, you can easily mute it. We're just putting it head over on uh, a table or something like this. Um, a pretty, pretty nice tool. And uh, what is also very nice uh, later, if you're having the chance to check your phone again, and if you take your phone, could you hear that? You have a little vibration and it tells you nothing else than that you have missed calls or, or some uh, missed messages and so on. So then you know, okay, I have to check it. Pretty cool. And let me show you something very nice uh, with the S Pen, what I really like the most. It's a translation tool here with the S Pen. So just go on the S Pen menu here and go on the point uh, translate. And you can choose on top the language from which language you want to translate. I want to translate from English to German, so Deutsch. So this is my uh, language, by the way. Ne? And now I can hover over a word ne? and I having the translation. Ne? Uh, weather means wetter in uh, wetter in German, by the way, and a pretty nice translation tool, and I really love it. You can have it, use it also here on the uh, browser and so on, and to, to translate uh, um, some words like galaxy means uh, galaxies and German. So a pretty nice tool to learn also a new language. Now let me show you also one of my favorite features here. Um, you can um, scan texts. And it can uh, uh, translate live and so on. A very nice tool. It's a virtual assistant. Uh, let me show you what I mean. So just tap you on the camera. Uh, go down here on more. Tap you on Bixby Vision. And now you can choose you below if you want to have a translation or if you want to have a text. Let's start with text maybe. Uh, hold it over uh, the text you want to have. And now it is uh, have marked the text. And now you can mark here some words and copy them you can translate them and so on so pretty pretty cool you can copy whole pages from books and so on and have it in your phone and work on it pretty pretty cool and um, if you go here on translate later you go back here you have also a live translation here of the text can you see that pretty 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 cool and if you go on select text here you have selected all the translation amazing for studies amazing for holidays uh, um, so a pretty pretty awesome tool and the next tool I want to show you is also pretty cool because you can easily split the screen maybe you want to watch a YouTube video here and you want to do something next to uh, what you should do then pretty easy just take two fingers swipe them from below to the middle of the screen and now you can choose for the lower screen here another app May uh, let's use choose the internet, uh, and then you can uh, surf during as well, or while watching a YouTube video. Pretty cool. But don't wonder if it doesn't work at you right now because you have to enable this feature first. So just scroll down here to have it, then tap on a the symbol for the settings. Then you need to go down to the point advanced features, and you will have the first point labs. And uh, I recommend to you to enable these both points here because they're pretty nice. Now the last one is for splitting the screen with two fingers. And uh, let's go back to our example with YouTube. Pretty easy. Just take the phone, take two fingers, swipe them from below to the middle, and you're having a split screen. Uh, then choose the one you want to have below. Made the internet browser again. And now you can surf on the internet. And the three points here in the middle, you can swipe them up to have a lower screen here on top for the video and more space below. And the same thing also is the opposite. Swipe it down and you have more space for your video here. No? Pretty, pretty cool. And uh, yeah, if you finish with, if you want to have the uh, browser here below on top, also or in general on the whole full screen, just swipe it up. Or if you want to have YouTube no? on top of on the full screen, just swipe it down and you're having it back on full screen. Okay, let me show you something else because if we go back here to the labs I've recommended to you also to enable this here swipe for pop up view. This is also a pretty nice feature. And let me show you what you can do with it. Let's go to our example YouTube because uh, you can open it in a pop up view. Yeah? So just swipe from the edge here, from the corner uh, to the middle of the screen, and you have it now as a pop up view. Yeah? And you can put it to any position 
on the screen. You can pin it up and then you can do something next to watching the video. No? Or works also with pictures from the gallery and so on. Uh, then you can yeah, draw something with a pen and as a pretty, pretty cool feature. No? If you want to remove it, just tap you on the blue bar on top and go on the X and it will disappear. So a pretty nice mode. Yeah, let me show you something more because uh, at this phone you can open as in separate space. So that means maybe a separate space for your business activities. So uh, if you want to have it completely independent from the main space here, or maybe a space for your very private stuff. Okay, let me show you what I mean. So just scroll down here, tap you on the symbol for the settings. Then you need to scroll down to the point security and privacy. And if you scroll down a bit here, you will find the point secure folder. Go and continue here. And he will ask you at the moment for your Samsung account. Um, if you don't have one, just create one or use your Google account to create one. There are many op opportunities. Go then and continue. And uh, then he's creating the secure folder. Um, this takes a few seconds. It's the reason why we'll forward the video right now. Okay, we are back in the next step here. And uh, now we have to set up a password no? or a PIN code. Um, Let's take maybe four times the nine. Please choose, uh, choose yours. Uh, it's a very simple one. You should have a better one. And I recommend always here to uh, enable this feature here to confirm the pin later without tapping always on OK. Let's go and continue after. Now he's telling me it's too uh, easy, the, uh, the pin code, but I want to keep it. And then the next step, I have to renew the pin. Uh, that everything is safe. Tap on OK. Please renew with your pin. Uh, and. Uh, then he's asking also if he wants to have um, if you want to have some more settings here with your Samsung account. I can't say because it takes too much time. Uh, also, you I recommend to you later to uh, enable here the fingerprints um, as well because then it works much faster. I will skip it as well because it's taking too much time. Let's go now to the next step because I want to show you the secure folder. This is how it looks like. You know? So. We have already some apps in it, uh, like the camera here. And that means every picture I'm taking here in that secure folder stays in the secure folder. It's only visible here at this gallery. Pretty cool, eh? And also here the internet browser. Huh? Everything, so every website I'm surfing on, it is only visible in the browser history in the secure folder. Also the contact list. Now I can have own contacts. Uh, I have. Uh, I can have only calendar entries, own notes, files, and so on. And also, if I want to have own apps, I just tap you on the plus. Um, I can choose one of my existing apps here on the phone to clone them. Maybe Snapchat. If I want to have an independent Snapchat account, I have now a complete independent Snapchat account here. And all the messages which are going here in that account are only visible here in that folder. And uh, if you want to have an app which one should not be on your visible on your phone, then just tap you on the plus symbol, go on download from Play Store or from the Galaxy Store, no, it depends. And uh, then you just enter your Google email address. It could be also another one, by the way, yeah, uh, because it's completely independent. And then you can download any app you want, and it's not visible on your main storage. Okay, let's have a look where to find later this uh, secure folder. No? You will find it here at the app drawer. No? Here it's just named at secure folder. You can rename the app, by the way, as well. And if you enter it, you're back in the secure folder. But you have seen, it's not asking for the pin. Um, but he's asking for the pin at a moment where you would turn, as when you would turn off uh, the screen. No? If you go in standby mode and if you uh, re-enter your phone, you have to enter the pin if you want to have access to your secure folder. If you say, okay, ah, that's not uh, too safe for me, uh, then I would recommend to you to go to the three points here, go to the settings, and you can choose uh, the auto lock uh, settings here. Um, actually, it's uh, just when we turn off the screen that the uh, secure folder is locked. But if you want to have it um, a bit earlier, then I recommend the first point here. Each time if you're leaving, if you're closing an app, um, the secure folder will also be locked after. Huh? Or you can choose also a time if you want, but the first one is the best one. And if you say, okay, you don't want to have a pin code all the time, choose the last point here. Uh, then you have to enter all, all, only a pin code if you restart your phone. 
Let me show you a bit more about. Maybe you are having pictures right now on your or data on your phone, uh, which one uh, belongs to the secure folder. What is better then? Uh, just tap you on the gallery and uh, let's click your pictures. Me, uh, our little friend here. Huh? If you say, okay, uh, um, I want to have him only at a secure folder or only visible at a secure folder, then just long press one of these pictures. Then you can mark other ones as well. Go then on more. Then you have the last point here, more as a move to secure folder. And these pictures uh, are after only visible at our secure folder. Here they are. Oh, pretty nice. Huh? Yeah, the next feature I want to show you is for the camera, because uh, if you're having a nice scene, it is always worse uh, if you're looking for a camera app and it's taking time and so on. Huh? What you can do is just double press the power button and you immediately add the camera without wasting time. And uh, what is pretty great at this feature, it works also if your phone is on standby. Just double press the power button and you immediately add the camera without looking for the camera app and wasting time. And hey, may this save you a great picture one day. And a question. Did you know that you don't use the full 200 MPs of your camera? You're just using 60 MPs. Not that much, huh? Uh, let me show you how you can change that. Here at this point, 3 to 4, you can change it to the 50 MPs or to the full 200 MPs. Uh, just tap on 3 to 4, tap on 200 MPs, and now you're having the full resolution of your camera. Um, why the other camera is uh, a standard? Because the pictures here becomes not that smooth and not that dynamic and you have to hold your hand very steady if you want to make the pictures with the 200 MP cams. This is why I recommend to you uh, the 50 MP cam here, because here you can make much better pictures. You can also zoom in and so on, what is pretty nice. And yeah, so you should change that. The next one I want to show you is also for the camera, because uh, you can do nice things. Let me take a picture here of the coins. Oop. Okay, let's go now here on the preview. By the way, you can do the same thing also um, at uh, the gallery and so on. Uh, then tap here on the pen. And now you can work a bit on the pictures. No? First of all, you can cut out here something no? to remove the shadows and so on, so that we have just this part here. And we have an object eraser. So if you want to remove some objects now, you can do that. Just tap you on the three points and tap you on object eraser. And with that, you can remove maybe the two euro coin here in the middle. Just mark it. No? Make the borders a bit further no? so that it's not too close uh, to the coin. Tap down on erase. And it's gone. Crazy, isn't it? And even the structure of the table, <laughs> the table has a structure, as you can see, even the structure, is, of the structure of the table is imitated. Yeah? Before, after. Crazy, yeah? After, tap on done. Don't forget after to tap on save and on save again to overwrite the, onit, uh, the original. And this picture is now here, part of your gallery. Pretty cool. And if you want, you can take also screenshots here at your phone. So you can picture your screen here. Pretty cool. For that, you have several options. Uh, one of it is uh, with the button, so the power button and the volume down button. Just press them for short and you're having a screenshot. Pretty cool. Uh, after you can see the preview, you can edit the screenshot or can share it directly. Yeah? Um, or the second way is to take the edge of your palm. So take the edge of the palm, swipe it across the screen and you're having a screenshot as well. Also pretty cool option. And uh, of course, you can use also here the um, uh, your uh, S Pen. No? Just tap you on the S Pen menu. And what I really love is here the point Smart Select, because here you can crop a part you want to have. And you can even pin it on your screen. And you can move it to another position and so on. And this is pretty cool if you want to write something or if you want to paint something. No? You can just pin it on the screen. And pretty pretty cool. Just tap on it once and tap on the X to remove it. And for the friends of videos, uh, you can also make a video here of your screen actions and so on, even in games and so on. Let me show you what I mean. So just scroll in here, scroll in the second time, then you have much more options here. Huh? And one of it is here the screen recorder. 
step on it and uh, then he's asking you which sound source you want to have only the media sound so that's the app then uh, or the media sound and next to the microphone in case you want to explain something yeah and i recommend to you also to show you the tabs and touches because if you want to explain something no one really knows where you have tapped on the screen which buttons you have pressed and so on with that it becomes visible with a little animation just tap here on start recording and um, you can see the countdown already, you can skip it if you want. And yeah, now we have this little tool here. It's movable to another position and our video is running in meanwhile. So if you don't want to have this tool, just tap in the arrow and it's almost invisibly at the side. No? So just swipe it out if you want to have it back. And there are some nice tools in it, maybe here the, the pen. No? With the pen you can uh, mark something. So pretty, pretty cool, but you cannot move here again on the screen. So then if you want to move again here, you need to remove the, um, the pen. Then we have this little guy here. This is uh, to enable the front cam so that people can see you doing the tutorial or doing your game. And the two bars are to pause the video and to continue the same video again. Or the square here is, I think you know it already, to stop the video completely. Let me show you a bit more what you can do with it. Uh, so just scroll down here, scroll down again, tap you on the point screen recorder because here I would recommend to you to set up later also the video quality because especially if you make little tutorials for your friends, you don't need the highest uh, quality. No? Some medium or also low is enough because um, the storage is limited. Please mind that. Uh, and yeah, where are these screenshots and screencasts we took here at the gallery? And the pictures, they are mixed up with the photos of our camera and so on. So this is the reason why I recommend to you go, to go on the point albums, because the screenshots and the screencasts have their own folder only for your screen shots and casts. And thank you so, so much for watching this video. I hope I could uh, show you some nice tips and tricks here for the phone. And uh, yeah, maybe if you want, you can leave me a nice comment or give me a thumbs up. That would be very helpful for my videos. Uh, thank you so, so much for... And I've created also some other videos if you're interested in it. Some more tips and tricks, like uh, to find out if your phone is real or not and so on. Or if you want, you can also subscribe me if you haven't done it before. Thank you so, so much for your support. And yeah, maybe until next time. <laughs> Ciao.